Okay, welcome back. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do was um, explain a little bit about the story report assignment. I may have been a little uh, misleading or vague um, when I was going over it when it came to the syllabus. So I wanted to give a couple of examples of some of the types of stories that I'm looking for and some of the things that you could do um, when I was um, Going over the assignment, I think I said, you know, well, if you don't find uh, examples of race and gender and and or bias in the story, then, you know, write about that. But obviously, I think if you do find examples of race and gender and bias, political bias or reporting bias in your stories, I want you to point it out. OK, so um, I selected a couple of um, websites that you could take a look at. Um, for stories. I, I'm looking at this story right here um, that I just saw on ESPN.com that uh, came out pretty recently. Um, yeah, just today. So uh, looking at hardship players in the WNBA. All right. So if we think about, you know, if we want to think about race and gender and taking a look at a story like this, you would go through and you would read for things like you know, is is it particularly focused on gender or race or do you detect political bias in the writing or something like that? You want to read through the whole story. Um, you know, you might there may be something that really stands out to you about this story. You know, as I was reading this story, I didn't you know, there's nothing really to me that sets it apart in terms of race or gender or bias. Um, and so I might suggest in my um, critique of this article that the writer was actually being just fairly informational and didn't make, you know, we're talking about the WNBA, we're talking about different players, and maybe the writer, um, Kevin Pelton here, um, in his analysis of this situation where teams um, are looking to add players when somebody has to be out of their lineup because of COVID, um, then uh, is the writer being fair or how is the writer describing it? Well, one of the things that stood out to me about this article here is this quote from, uh, is it, Lloyd uh, so, um, who is he quoting here? Jewel Lloyd. Jewel Lloyd lamented the difficulty. Okay, so yes. Uh, this paragraph here by Jewel Lloyd. Uh, if we had a G League, it would help. If we had practice players in our system, you can pull from that. So you can see in this article that actually um, one of the sources is critiquing a lack of resources in the WNBA that maybe the NBA has. So there's some implicit um, critique in terms of gender. And so we find that this is the type of thing that you can point out. You could say, well, in this story written by this writer, um, you would want to you know, have a hyperlink to the story as well. And so we could say that because of um, this type of detail, then we can understand that there maybe is a difference between the two leagues based on gender and that this article is pointing that out. Okay, so as you read through these stories on, on NBA, so AP um, has a great, um, you know, a lot of sports coverage here. So you can look through these if you'd like. You know, there's a lot of, there's game reports. There's different things that are happening around. Um, so, you know, you want to look for these types of stories. Sometimes you can go to a different sports uh, website. You know, I, I like the ringer, so I, I go here. And, and so I read a lot of stories. So, you know, look at a story. Find if there's details that maybe stand out to you um, in terms of what we've talked about. And then write about that. You want to describe it and exactly where the concerns are. Okay. 250 to 300 words. It's not a big write-up, but I want you paying attention to what's in the news. I want you paying attention to how sports are being, um, how sports are being portrayed. And... Um, you know, get you thinking about that. So questions on that, email me, please. Talk to you later. Bye.